All right, and last up for Congressional District 1, Andy Martin. Come on up. Andy Martin? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Andy Martin, and I'm running for Congress in the 1st District. But before I toot my own horn, I'd like to say some words about Ed Nail. I first encountered Ed Nail in a courtroom six years ago in Stratford County. He was fighting to protect the integrity of our votes and struggling hard because the judge wasn't very friendly. But he kept fighting. It was a tough case, and we lost it. But we're back again. Uh, at the end of May, Ed filed a petition with the New Hampshire Supreme Court. It was one of the best pieces of work I'd ever seen. And I was a little uh, embarrassed, I suppose, because I hadn't been able. I had a scheduling conflict and I didn't get something out to the court. But Ed was there. He is an inspiration to me, and I hope he's an inspiration to all of you with his hard work for voter integrity. Don't let them lie to you and tell you we don't have an illegal voting problem. Ed knows that's a lie. Andy Martin knows that's a lie. And if I go to Washington, we're going to clean up the Help America Vote Act and the Motor Voter, Voter, I don't know what, Motor Scooter Act, and we're going to start clearing out all this voter fraud across the country, not just in New Hampshire. Number two, I want to thank one of my challengers, Eddie Edwards. Now, Eddie just gave you a very eloquent speech on how important administrative law is, and he mentioned the Administrative Procedure Act. What Eddie didn't know was that I'm one of the nationally recognized experts on administrative law, and I've been litigating administrative law cases for decades, winning some and losing some. So if you want an expert on the Administrative Procedure Act who can go to Washington and stir it up, you got to vote for me. So, thank you, Eddie. Uh, great speech, but I guess it's point to me. All right, why vote for me? We got uh, a number of candidates that are campaigning actively. There are two reasons. One, I have the credentials. Washington is not a nursery school. You don't go there to learn. In the old days, when I got there, I met a guy named Bill Hungate. He was a congressman from Missouri. And he said, you can spend two, four, six years around here learning the ropes. This was in the 60s. You can't do that anymore. We have a very, very dangerous situation. We have partisans that are out to kill us. We have partisans that are out to kill the Trump administration. And so you need to have credentials to understand how to fight the system. I've been fighting the system for a long time, successfully winning, and a couple of weeks ago I, I won an administrative procedure act here at the local level. Uh, the, the Attorney General of New Hampshire and I had a dispute over the Right to Know Act. And he said one thing and I said another, and then he went back to his drawing board and came back with an offer that I couldn't refuse. Now that's the kind of a guy you want in Washington. Now, we're all conservatives. I, I was just reading some junk mail from one of my opponents, and he says he's the only conservative. Everybody here is a conservative. So that's not the litmus test. The litmus test isn't whether you get up and say I'm a conservative. The litmus test isn't whether you can get things done. I have the credentials. Number two, and more important, I'm nationally known as a fighter. We brought some copies of my book, the first book that exposed Barack Obama 10 years ago. They're free. It's not often a politician will give you something for nothing. This is free. Go to my desk. You can get a free copy. If you want me to sign it, I'll sign it. But I have been on the national stage for decades. I've been on network television for 25 years. So I'm a guy that's known as a fighter. Now, my opponents are, generally speaking, good people. I'm not here to badmouth anybody. But they don't have any experience fighting. They didn't stand up to Obama and suffer the attacks of all the Obama dirty tricks. I have that experience as a fighter. I can go to Washington 
I don't need a training course. I don't need to be told where the restrooms are. I don't need to assemble a staff struggling with other people's advice. You know, one of the problems President Trump had when he was elected, as you all know, he wasn't a politician. And so they threw names at him and he said, oh, Rosenstein, okay, okay, we'll put him in here. And this guy, um, I forget his name now, the FBI guy, oh, we'll put him in the FBI. He didn't know these people. If you don't know the score, you have no business being in the major leagues. Now, it's all well and good to say, well, I was in Concord or I was here or there. That's not even AAA ball compared to Concord, compared to Washington. You need a fighter. So if you want a fighter, last Saturday, I'll close with this. Uh, the socialists, Bernie Sanders people, had a, a debate. So I went to the debate. I wanted to see what these people are like. I was stunned. They're just like us. They wear clothes and they comb their hair and, and uh, you know, other women have earrings and some of them. Not always in their ears, I suppose. But I, I took down the candidate. I call them Snow White and the Ten Dwarfs. You've got Maura Sullivan, who's got a million dollars of Hollywood money, a million dollars of Washington money, of New York Park Avenue money. She even got money from Hugh Hefner's daughter. God. They want to buy this seat. And the, tw the ten dwarfs there, the Democrats, they can't handle it. I went there and I said, you're all a bunch of hypocrites. I said, she's trying to buy a seat and she doesn't know what she's saying and she doesn't know what she's doing. No good. Oh my God, the placement up for grabs. So I'm not afraid to go to the Bernie people and tell them what the real world is like and tell them you have to get a job and struggle and save and do the right things by your neighbors. And that's the foundation of civil society. Thank you. You're a great audience. Please support the Coalition of New Hampshire Taxpayers. Please support me. We're fighting for the same thing. Keep your tax dollars in your pockets and ballot integrity. We have to stop the voter fraud. We lost the U.S. Senator two years ago because of ballot fraud. And I don't know how many other small offices we might have lost. Thank you. God bless you all. Remember, three books over here. Uh, and I signed them for free, too. All right. That's going to put a wrap on the Congressional District 1 candidates. And before we do that, folks, I just want to take a moment to recognize the Coalition of New Hampshire Taxpayers for putting this on. Ed and his crew. If we could give it up for Ed and all the fine folks at the Coalition of New Hampshire Taxpayers. And I'll tell you, you know, if you're somebody that wants to come like, oh, I don't know, maybe uh, Maggie Hassan's intern, you know, the F.U. Trump woman, who uh, was not a resident of this state, but declared her legal residency, her dorm room at UNH. If you want to engage in voter fraud, watch out, because Ed Nail's got your number. And you will make that list. Crop TV.